so the next problem is the minimum number of colors required to color the following graph such that no two adjacent vertices are assigned the same color so we are given this graph and we have to give colors to the vertices of this graph such that no two adjacent vertices are assigned the same color it is also called the graph coloring problem it's a very common problem and let's see what we can do with this graph and and we are given these four options okay that the minimum number of colors that we will need to color this graph that's what we have to answer okay and and how do we color this graph such that we color this graph such that such that no two adjacent vertices are assigned the same color okay all right so let's try to see where we can get with this okay so this is the graph given to us and i'm i've redrawn these graph at these two places so that it saves time okay so the first thing that you notice about this graph is that it is a planar graph okay I think you can clearly see it quite easily that it is a planar graph and what we know from if you remember the four color theorem okay so what is the four color theorem four color theorem the four color theorem says that any planar graph can be colored with only four colors so that kind of eliminates this option okay since it is a planar graph we can color it with four color that eliminates the option D which is five colors because we can do better than that we can color it with only four colors okay then uh, we can also eliminate this option if you look carefully and the observation is that in this graph you have a cycle like this okay you have this cycle present in this graph okay you see this cycle this cycle is an odd is, is a cycle of odd number of edges okay and with odd number of edges in a cycle you know that you know at least you need at least three colors right because suppose you give this red color and suppose you give this one green color okay then to this you cannot give red or green you have to choose some other color let's say brown color okay so that, that's with any cycle of odd number of edges you will need at least three colors and that tells you that you can also eliminate this option okay so it's either three or it is four and the four color theorem tells us that we can definitely do it with four because any planet graph can be colored with four colors but can we do it with three that is the question and that's what we are going to look for okay that can we color it with three so let's let's start coloring this graph and let's see if we can color it with three okay so suppose I give this one blue color all right this vertex I give blue color and suppose I give this one red color okay and then I give this one green color all right so you have so I started with this inner cycle of three vertices okay because I at least need three colors then what I'll try to do is I'll try to avoid I'll try to avoid using more than three colors I'll see if I can color this with only these three colors so I have this another cycle of three and there is blue here and there is red here so I cannot color this with blue or red so definitely I'll have to go for some more extra color and let's color this with green if I use some other color then I have already 
violated that violated the condition that I have to use three colors. So if I suppose I give it purple, then I've already used four colors. So you know, so I have to stick to three and see if I if I can do it. And then again, so I have this this other thing, and I I will try to use red color here because I cannot use green or blue out here. All right, and then out here. I cannot use green or red so I have to use blue color out here alright so now we come to an interesting point about this node okay can we color this with green okay this is green so a green color cannot come adjacent to this green colored vertex this cannot be colored with green so green is out of question for this one can we color it with blue this is blue adjacent to this so we cannot color it with blue and can we color it with red okay again so this red is adjacent to this so we cannot color it with red so we have we are done with these three choices we have to go for some fourth color and that tells us that this option is eliminated as well and we are left with only four colors and so that has to be the right option the four colors and then we'll see how we can color it with four colors so what I'm going to do is I'm going to color it with four colors and show you how you can do it so I give a blue color to this one and then I give a red color to this word as adjacent to this and then I give a blue color to this one and then I complete this cycle and give red color to this one alright now what I can do I have to go for some other color okay so I give green color to this one alright it's a new color so it can safely go there what about this one so I've used three colors I still have one color left because I have to color it with four so I give this one brown color like this and then I give this one green color like this and then I give this one a brown color okay so this way we have colored it with four colors okay we use four color to color it and we know that's the correct answer